The Stack Overflow 2022 survey report is out, and it's jam-packed with good stuff. I want to take a quick moment to analyze one section of the report that's near and dear to my heart and brain. Database. The survey polled more than 62,000 respondents about which databases they most loved or dreaded. PostgreSQL won the most loved, followed by Redis, with 72% of the respondents saying they loved it and 27.92% of the respondents saying they dreaded it. The results are not that surprising. Now I'm a bit biased. I leapt for joy when Oracle bought and then tried to sabotage MySQL some years ago. It meant, at long last, that people would have a good reason to take a second look at PostgreSQL. Remember, databases endure. They're one of the most complex, intricate pieces of the stack, and they're very difficult to dislodge. So I think PostgreSQL is the better tool, and it deserves to be more popular. I think these numbers are actually fairly low compared to what they could have been given Postgres's strengths. It's easy to forget now, but you have to remember, they didn't even have a Windows version of this server that would run on Windows, the platform on which most developers write their code, up until version 8.0 in 2005. That is to say, a full 13 years after its debut. Imagine all the lost ground that it ceded to MySQL during that, those years. In today's world with Docker containers, it's trivially easy to get a working PostgreSQL instance up and running. Here's a Docker Compose definition that you could use. Then just run. Assuming you've installed the PSQL CLI, you can connect to your newly minted PostgreSQL database with the following incantation. Easy. I can also see why the so-called professionals love PostgreSQL. It's about as good as it gets, and it's hard to beat the price. PostgreSQL has all the usual features, asset compliance, scalability, data integrity, excellent security, etc., etc. Remember, there was a time when MySQL default backend engine, MyISM, would happily accept DDL foreign key references, enforcing data integrity, and then quietly and maddeningly ignore them, letting the users put whatever they wanted in. If I can't trust my database to hold data correctly, literally just to hold on to it, then it's hardly a database anymore, is it? It's more of just a, a, a base. I love PostgreSQL because it works well in an application development scenario. Whether you're using reactive APIs or you plan on using the new Project Loom with traditional JDBC APIs, uh, you can bet your bottom dollar that PostgreSQL offers a great developer experience, performs well, and meets use cases. Going a step further, PostgreSQL was one of the early databases to support MVCC, a pattern designed to keep consistency for both reads and writes without blocking each other. Would I say that PostgreSQL does everything as well as the most expensive databases, like Oracle database? Probably not. But that's not the value proposition, folks. It's in the fact that it does most of what I want, and, and if there's more to be done, I can rely on the amazing community to fill in the gaps. I remember learning in 2008 about something called Compier, an open source ERP system written using Java and Swing, good old Swing, that made extensive use of the Oracle database. But somebody, I forget who, Enterprise DB maybe, had introduced compatibility features to Postgres such that this sprawling purpose-built ERP system could be made to run on Postgres. Amazing. That's way beyond compliance with just the specs, friends. That's leap forward. There are a ton of projects aimed at building on PostgreSQL and adding Oracle compatibility. Enterprise DB is just one. It's a company and project that has endured today, uh, albeit as a, a brand of Great Hills partners since 2019. Enterprise DB isn't alone either. There are many other projects that purport to teach Postgres new, new tricks and extend its, uh, extend its Oracle compatibility. RFCE is one effort. Another effort, Ivory SQL, builds on RFCE and takes it even further. And this, my friends, speaks to the heart of why I love PostgreSQL so much. It's extensible. There are many projects out there that change the paradigm supported by PostgreSQL. Citrus gives you distributed tables for PostgreSQL. Greenplum, now part of VMware, where I work, debuted in 2005 and is a big data database based on the MPP architecture in PostgreSQL. TimescaleDB is a time series database, like Netflix Atlas or Prometheus or Datadog, built on PostgreSQL. Neon Cloud provides bottomless storage for Postgres. Yugabyte DB, whose founders created Apache Cassandra and HBase, among other things, provides a horizontally scalable engine and implementation for Postgres. And there are a number of different tools and pieces of infrastructure that integrate well with just any old stock standard PostgreSQL distribution. PG Bouncer, for example, is a lightweight connection pooler for Postgres. PG Backrest provides trivial automated backup and restore. There are tons of extensions to Postgres's type system too. PostGIS provides geospatial queries and capabilities for PostgreSQL. Btree Gin and Btree Gist add new Btree types. Cube adds most multi-dimensional cube types. DBLink makes it possible to treat a remote Postgres database as a local one. The Earth Distance module provides two different approaches to calculating great struggle distances on the surface of the Earth. 
file FDW as a foreign data wrapper, of which, by the way, there are many, to access data files in the server's file system. HTTP makes it possible to issue HTTP requests from within PostgreSQL. ISN provides data types for, for the following international product numbering standards, EAN 13, UPC, ISBN, ISMN, and ISSN. PGCron supports running periodic jobs within Postgres. PGTRGM makes it possible to determine the similarity of alphanumeric text based on trigram matching and index operator classes that support fast searching for similar strings. PG Audit provides detailed session and object audit log logging via the standard logging facility supplied by Postgres. And PG Crypto provides cryptographic functions for PostgreSQL. No Bitcoin required, friends. And there are even extensions to the language by which you can wield Postgres's type system. Postgres supports alternatives to PGP SQL, the scripting language in the database, that you can use to write functions. While there are many out there, some of them, some of my favorites are the PL Python support, which allows you to use Python as an embedded language. PL Coffee, which lets you run CoffeeScript in PostgreSQL with uh, the CoffeeScript Coffee language on V8. PL Java supports using the Java language with PostgreSQL. PLLS lets you use the live script language. PL V8 lets you run JavaScript using the Google V8 all open source JavaScript engine. And of course, Postgres is ubiquitous. It's trivial to spin up a Postgres database instance nearly anywhere you'd like to on any major or even minor cloud infrastructure vendor. PostgreSQL is ubiquitous, multi-purpose, robust, extensible, fast, scalable, and more. The Stack Overflow survey results are not that surprising. Postgres is amazing. Have you tried it yet?